today we've been out sailing on the Moody uh, DS45. We had a great sailing day. We were sailing at eight to nine and a half knots a day and about 14 to four knots of wind. We had a little bit of rain come through uh, earlier that um, quieted things down. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're, we're motoring and we don't have to motor exactly into the wind to get this mainsail out. And what Fred's doing is he's using his foot to uh, press the button for the outhaul on the mainsail. And you can see up here, it's pulling the, uh, the mainsail out of the, uh, the furling and he's also uh, easing it out. You want me to ease the main out while you're doing that? So right now you can see the mainsail's coming out. These are vertical battens and these Elskin sails. So we've got about 16 knots of wind and uh, we're gonna get the, the, uh, the jib out, do some close hauled sailing. So what, what Fred's gonna do right now is he's gonna tax the boat. It's a self-tacking uh, jib, so it packs in front of the, the main. We're going pretty quick. He's gonna bring the boat up. The sails are gonna lop and we're gonna fall off and head out that way. Um, the boat was easily sailing 40 degrees earlier. It's a deep draft boat, these carbon sails, and they sail really well. Fred, let's go ahead and take it through and do our tack. So you'll notice no one's, no one's touching any, any control lines or sheets. The boat comes over on its own. Very well balanced, very quick tack. All right, we're already through the wind. We're out on our on our next stack. We have about 14 knots of wind at the at the moment, doing seven and a half uh, knots. You can see here we've got these beautiful Elstrom carbon fiber uh, furling sails with full battens, full vertical battens in them. These all roll inside the the mainsail uh, as we roll it out and we have a self-tacking jib. So as we go through the wind, no one has to touch any sheets on the boat. The boat tacks through on its own. It's a deep draft uh, version of the Moody 45 DS. It tracks very, very well. We were sailing upwind at 40 degrees off the wind uh, earlier. Tracks perfectly. At 45, the boat accelerates quite a bit. We ease the main a little bit and it's sailing great. On these uh, helms, we've got a very nice uh, carbon fiber wheel, dual helms, dual throttles, stern thruster, bow thruster, and we have buttons here that control the furling for the Genoa or the jib, it rolls that in and out. And then we also have an electric furling on the mainsail, uh, which rolls that sail in and out. Super easy to operate. To get the mainsail out, you simply pull the out hull and ease the, uh, the furling until it's out as far as you want. In order to reef, you just don't let out as much sail and you've got almost an infinite adjustment of how much mainsail area you carry on this uh, configuration. And then the same on the jib, that can be rolled up a little bit to reef the, uh, the jib as well. This uh, canvas top releases and rolls forward. I can give you an example of how that rolls. Very simple, if you're nice, Open area, great view of the sails. I think this is nice to do when you're raising the sails because it's very easy to see and from any position, whether you're sitting in the cockpit controlling one of the lines or controlling the wheel, you have a great view. And it pulls back and snaps into place. You can see here, we've got a chart plotter with AIS, radar all the display, VHF radio, engine controls, radio uh, display. We were just experimenting with heaving two on the boat. That's where you tack through the wind and back wind the jib. The boat sits perfectly in a heave two position. Some boats don't balance very well. This one balances perfectly. I think the sail plan is uh, well configured for this boat. And uh, to get out of the heave two position, we were jibing out, super simple, uh, very easy. This is the forward cabin of the Moody 45DS. 
You can see it's an island berth, so you have access to both sides of the berth, whether you're coming off of one side or making the bed up. You have this beautiful skylight all the way across the top. There's also a blind that, that conceals this area, but very nice uh, and airy feel. Got a small window up there looking at the anchor locker, two reading lamps, a large berth, Lots of storage. There's really almost a his and her side. Uh, there's a hanging locker, uh, some shelves, a folding locker. Same thing on this side. You've got uh, three lockers as well. Hanging locker, outlets, 12 volt chargers, climate control, and a drawer here for large storage items. Very nice, comfortable cabin. Uh, over here on the port side, there's a separate shower. Uh, electric flush head, lots of cabinets, and a vessel sink with a Corian countertop area in the head. As you come down from the deck salon area, there's two guest cabins. There's a large one here uh, on the starboard side, and then a slightly smaller one here on the port side. Both of these share a uh, head with a separate head and shower here on the starboard side. There's plenty of space here to walk around. It's a control panel uh, on this side with water maker control, generator, 110 and 12 volt uh, power controls along with the short power uh, switch and dimmers for the salon lights. Here's the forward facing nav station. You've got your Raymarine chart plotter radar, forward facing nav station, 360 visibility, nice airy feel, autopilot control to drive the boat. This is a uh, fan system. Got a nav uh, chart light here. Plenty of storage here for binoculars and electronics and things. A set of engine controls, uh, so you can see RPM, monitor uh, the engine gauges, and a set of throttles. So it's really almost kind of like a pilot house uh, arrangement where you can come in here and operate the boat uh, out of the weather. Obviously you don't have uh, sail control lines, but all your engine controls are operational here and all your navigation equipment is accessible. Here in the galley, you've got great visibility, lots of natural light, microwave oven, plenty of storage here for cook items. Here there's utensils, dishes, storage. The table widens for full dining or smaller for everyday use. We've got a three burner Eno stove, perfect condition. Oven there below, this is gimbaled. On this side, you have a top loading uh, fridge and then a freezer here in the bottom that opens up. Nice Corian countertops, storage here for cooking items. You've got blinds. Ocean air blinds, keep the heat out and some privacy. A couple power outlets, lots of drawers and things for galley items. Right next to your forward facing nav station, engine throttles, engine controls. Both these doors open up just like in a catamaran, so you have a huge uh, salon space, the doors lock. Engine access is here in the floor. This hatch lifts up. You can barely hear the engine running when you're underway. Great sound insulation. Down here, there is a Volvo D3 110. Over here is a Fisher Panda, eight kilowatt generator. On this side, you got water heaters and AC pumps and uh, the fuel tank. And then there's a concealed uh, waste bin there. Nice molded in sink. There's also a uh, cover that goes on the top there. And you've got everything you need right here in the salon with a nice area to hang out. There's a television here behind me that raises up and down. As you can see, this comes up. EPIRB, Fusion Audio System. These are dimmer controls for all of the lights in the salon, the galley. Uh, courtesy lights and uh, night lights throughout the boat. And then here in the salon, there's also a drawer uh, fridge for drinks and various other things. I uh, also have more storage, a uh, good useful junk drawer. 
And then here in the cockpit, we also have a smaller cockpit fridge here for drinks and various things. In the cockpit, you have a centrally located chart plotter uh, and radar display. This is a uh, larger unit than what we have at the nav station. Beautiful carbon fiber wheels, dual engine throttles, bow thruster, stern thruster, controls here for controlling the electric furling for the Genoa and also for the mainsail. Uh, here I'm looking at the depth and autopilot uh, displays here. These are where the rudders are located and the emergency tillers would fit here, but that gives you an idea of what the uh, rudder positions are. So it's a dual rudder boat, sails very well with a nice light balanced uh, helm. And then in this area where I'm standing right now, this compartment opens up, this door folds back, and this is accessible if you'd like to store a dinghy in this area. The bimini opens up with a release. This whole thing slides forward opens up this whole area and I'm going to open this compartment and show you what this access looks like here. So you have a very, very nice swim platform. This area folds down. You can bring your tender right into this space, store it here, or put water toys, sea bobs, uh, whatever you like, it's a huge amount of uh, storage space. The helm position on, on this boat's great. You can look right down the side of the boat. You can see your, your sails from here. This uh, retractable bimini moves out. You can completely see every aspect of the mainsail uh, underway. And in front of me, I have the uh, depth, speed, autopilot controls, and everything here at, at your fingertips. And if you stand up, you can easily see over the coach roof. And if you sit down, because it's a deck salon, you can see through all of the windows with the full visibility of the foredeck and the leeward side. So you're never lacking uh, visibility with this monohull. You know, a lot of helm positions are here in the center and you've got a lot of uh, cabin and salon space in front of you without a lot of visibility. But here, you've got the best of both worlds. On the foredeck, you've got a ball bearing track on the deck here that allows the jib to tack through the wind without having to touch any control lines. I think that's a huge benefit on any cruising yacht. It adds to shorthanded sailing where you can use autopilot to tack or jibe the boat and nobody has to control any lines at all. So to deploy the anchor, that anchor bow roller comes up like this. Press down on this lever, anchor comes up and is deployed just like that. Very simply, easy to do, and an elegant way to store the anchor and all this uh, equipment back. And simply to release it, apply pressure here, that comes back and drops right down into this space. And it's secured in there. Super easy, very simple. And when you're done, all this closes up. You don't see any chain, any anchors, nothing to get snagged on. Uh, very, very elegant. Someone spent a lot of time thinking about that and it's a hell of a piece of engineering. I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company. And this is a Moody 45DS located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, available for sale. If you like our videos, subscribe and like, and you'll get updates on whenever we drop a new video. They're very entertaining and informative.